Hey Dutch, what are you doing tonight? Puzzling. Puzzling? What are you puzzling? Um, it's, it's a puzzle that didn't come with pieces pre-made. Okay. I guess I need to back up here and show the puzzle. Wow. So you have to make the pieces, and then not only do you have to make the pieces, you got to solder the lead in between. Wow. It looks like you've had some experience doing this. Well, my son Dale and I did that for a high school project, so you can take a look at it. Okay. Over here. Meanwhile, I'll just show you guys some close-up views and then I'll back up so you get a little bit bigger picture here. And then we'll come out here. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Tell us about it. Those are transom lights. So there are two. Let me see if I can back Don't show up. the junk behind them. <laughs> okay, well, in the one you can see there's stuff hanging up in the background. There's our beautiful doors. So now tell us about that project. Hang on a second. Well, this, this one is going to go in the front porch in front of the house. Okay, what do you have there now? Snow hole. <laughs> Snow hole is right. <laughs> it snows at will into the porch. Okay, so I'll show you guys more later. Thanks for sharing. I might as well show the dog since he's right here. Hi, Wilder. You're only, how old is he? He's not even three yet, is he? One, two, three. He's three. You're three and you're turning all white. Yeah, that's pretty young. Pretty young indeed. Oh, the noise you hear is the glass cutter. Just like that. Okay, start lighting. again telling me. Okay, we had an update for this, you on this, this is project. This the stainless sink because you never answered me. And if you did, it probably did it differently than you wanted. <laughs> so, that's a whole story. Stainless I said there sink was, is better. There's no anyway, point in answering because you were going to do it your own way. <laughs> yeah, the reason I did that is so that this lead wouldn't have such a long space. To oh, okay. I think it looks good in there. Oh, the phone there's phone ringing. ringing. Gotta go. Today is our annual... Uh, I can't think of a word. I was going to say voyage, but we're on a ship. Our annual pilgrimage, our annual, our annual trip to the craft show at the Dome. See? Do you see it? Right up there. The Christmas craft show. I've got Elisa and Erica with me, although they're camera shy, so I might not be able to share them with you guys. Only from behind. <laughs> Erica always dresses so classy. And me, I'm just in jeans and boots. Yep. And let me tell you, the weather is really warm today. I mean, relatively. Normally, it's really cold when we go to the craft show. Not today. There's Santa Claus. Okay, I bought a book by a local author. Talk to him. It's always awkward to pull it out the camera, so I didn't until now. Okay, I bought a box of mushroom starter. Oh, you can't see it. And another book. Let me start again. Okay, we are home from the craft show. I thought it was fun. I think Erica and Elisa got a little bored there because I was taking too much time. Normally, I don't purchase anything at these craft shows, but today I bought two books and a box. <laughs> I thought I could talk more about my purchases. Now, I got this book, North of Nelson, Volume 1. The artist, um, the artist, the author was there. So it's short stories of the Upper Peninsula. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I'd read it and I can share maybe some short stories from the Upper Peninsula with you guys or just let you know how the book was. And then I came upon another author and I bought his book, True Tales, The Forgotten History of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. He, this gentleman, has written um, several. He had several nonfiction 
Upper Peninsula stories, and he also had a couple um, fictional books, and the one I was really interested in. So maybe the next time I buy a book, I'll buy the second one. But I thought this was good. They were both uh, very friendly, of course, because they were trying to sell books. But like I said, they were, I never buy books, and they were kind of expensive. So I probably shouldn't have, but I thought it was fun. And then for Jack, because um, he did a paper for school on mushrooms and growing mushrooms and the history of mushrooms and all that stuff, there were people there selling, sorry, there were people there selling mushrooms. And I thought, oh, I'd get him a variety of mushrooms. I think that was Elisa's suggestion. And then she said, no, she was just kidding. But I said, uh-uh, I'm going to run with it. Instead, I bought him this kit to grow his own mushrooms. And um, I bought this particular one because the gentleman selling them said this variety grows well in a warm environment. And it just so happens in the winter our basement tends to be a little warm. So I thought that would be perfect because they don't need light to grow anyway. I thought it would be a fun adventure and a funny, a fun gift for Jack. I don't, I don't even think he likes mushrooms, but I thought it would be fun anyway. So that's what I picked up at the craft show. They have it every year. At this time of year and it's just fun to go around and it, i thought it was more fun today because it was very busy i mean for the up it was very busy last year it was kind of dead in there but this year there were lots of booths and lots of people and i suppose it depends on what time of the day you go to these things but i had fun <laughs> so thanks for coming along with me <laughs> how's it going here it's all together oh. it's all together Look at that. Okay, so it is going to go horizontally, right? Yes. Not, not this way. Kind of Where's either. my breakfast, woman? <laughs> you know how to cook. <laughs> I'm working. Oh, I was going to say, why is it red there? That was from the marker. On blood. The blood. <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears. Looks great. Now you're going to... Put glass on either side of it and put it in a frame, right? Mm -hmm. And then put it in our front porch. Okay, it's later in the day. I found myself at the grocery store. It's not very busy here, otherwise I wouldn't record. I know, there are cameras watching me everywhere I go. That's different. Oh, that was somebody I knew. So I need a white elephant gift coming up. And it's supposed to be something from your house that you no longer use. And I was just thinking because I walked past the mini waffle iron aisle that I have an extra one. And I could give that with some kind of waffle mix. That would be good, right? Everybody wants a mini waffle maker, right? You guys would want a mini waffle maker, right? This is really cool, this little rubber mini spoon. And it's bent so it, I don't know. I'm not getting it, but it'll look cool in the moment. The project continues. What are you doing today? Cementing. Cementing? Oh. What do you do just? I should probably not use your butter knife though. <gasps> Why are you using my knife? <laughs> I don't have one of those fancy dandy, dandy plastic things. Hang on. We're back. And I see you updated your tools. Yeah, it's not exactly the right one either, but it'll work. Okay, so what exactly are you doing now? Cementing or puttying. Sealing the glass. Okay. Do you have to do this on both sides? I assume yes. so. Okay. All right. There you have it. No longer using my kitchen knife. It's going in. So it's got a pane of glass on each side and it's in the frame. Now we just need to get the trim up around it and around our other windows. Yeah. Ooh, it won't focus. All right. That's it. That's how nice it looks. <laughs>